All right, a be happy. We're out here on the Frigo F1, and we gotta throw this crap away. Oh, there's nothing in there. This is hard to carry. Man, it has handles in all the wrong spots. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for a dumpster. I don't think I had any witnesses. This 360 camera is not going to be good. Not at that distance, but we'll get some glamour shots, maybe. Maybe pull it out to here a little bit, yeah. Yeah, we look dope, don't we? All right, we're gonna hit this mountain bike trail. It is, oh, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, that's why. That's why there's so many people here. But I think I'm okay on the mountain bike path with this. We might just turn around if it's too gnarly too quick. Freaking wrist hurts, shin really hurts. Really not in the mood to ding my shin up. Let's see how crazy these paths are. First ride, and we're going off-road. Suburban Ninja. That's what this place is called, the Suburban Ninja. I forget, okay, my brakes are switched. The rear, yep, the rear is on the right. Oh, so much night, I mean, it's not a cra it's not like meant for crazy off-road, but this is already better than my clapped out Suron forks. The suspension is great. Can I put these forks on my Suron? Airtime. Airtime. Not even one mile on the bike and we got air, dirt airtime. I will take it. 16.99. No tax. Free shipping. Code loophole. Derailer. Headlight. Brake light. Let's turn our headlight on. I'm assuming you, I'm assuming you hold plus. Oh yeah. Let's uh, downshift. I am so not used to downshifting or well, or any kind of shifting. Suburban Ninja is left, blue is right. Blue seems easy. We're a Suburban Ninja. All right, let's vlog. Guys, it's gonna be 15 degrees. 15 degree low. Uh, on Friday. 
And I was like, huh, that's deadly. And I never uh, put a heater in my, I have an electric heater, but we need our electricity for PlayStation. Um, but, oh shoot. Am I going the wrong way? That guy didn't seem to be too mad. It's because I have pedals. Um, yeah, I never put in a diesel heater. That's what I was going to get. Uh, but I just, I was like, well, I don't really want to be anywhere where it's cold and Texas is never going to ever be cold, right? No, 15 degrees is crazy. So I looked into a diesel heater, but there's so much you got to do. And I don't want to do all that without a workshop. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Is this a one way? Yeah, it's about the right. Oh. Huh, well, he said it's bi directional. He seemed a little mad. But I yielded to him. Um, if we see one more guy going this way, we're turning around. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't want to do all that. I don't, I don't have the, all the tools and stuff to, uh, to, uh, cut a hole in the floor and there's exhaust and a heat, uh, there's an intake and there's an exhaust and there's all kinds of crap. Uh, I don't really want to do that. So I ordered a, a propane heater. Dude, that's the third guy. Oh, I'll yield. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good one. He said there's three more. Dude, I must be going the wrong way. We're turning around. What was I talking about? Man, that guy yielded to me at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry, brother. I tried yielding first, dude. Yeah, I, brought, I bought a, a propane, a Mr. Buddy propane heater. I decided to turn around. Seems like th this is the way to go. He's like, get, get out of here, bro. Yeah, we got a Mr. Buddy. It's gonna keep us alive. We also have an electric jacket from Dubu. And um, we have a 15 degree sleeping bag. We're gonna be fine. It's just gonna be uncomfortable. And I didn't wanna deal with any of this. But in the future, we are gonna get a legit like diesel heater. I think that's the way to go. And we have a diesel bus, so it'll just sip. It'll just sip from that. This is pretty fun, actually. I rearranged my uh, bus garage to make room for a bike. I think we got it. It's gonna suck a little bit, but it's just gonna take a, li a bit, little bit longer to load and unload our bikes, but we gotta get rid of one of them. So I finally turn around and then he's going that way. 
What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so we got space. It's gonna be cramped, but we have another bike coming. Uh, we can't have five bikes in a scooter, but that's not until, uh, that's not gonna be until another month, I don't think. But it's a cool looking bike and I've never heard anybody talking about them. This bike is hold, is pretty is holding on pretty good for 1600 bucks. This is like a Walmart, you know, like when uh, Sam Pilgrim makes a Walmart bike video. This is like the equivalent to a Walmart bike. And we know that when you put Walmart in the title of a video, it does great. This is fun, man. I'm really liking the burbs of Texas. You can literally park anywhere. You can park a gigantic bus literally anywhere. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of Dodge Challengers being loud as fuck at three in the morning. <coughs> that doesn't sound good. But that's the price you pay. That's the price you pay for bus life. And then you freeze to death on Friday, 15 degrees. I bought a, um, a charger. Oh, two of the things, I was just in such an, I was in such a mood. I was just so eager to get out of my dad's house and start uh, adventuring with the bus that I didn't quite finish it everything. I never put a ceiling in. I wanted to do like a nice ceiling. Oh, this is cool. I never did the nice ceiling. I never did uh, a floor for the garage. I was, I didn't, I could never decide what I wanted to do. Like I was going to do maybe Rhino liner, but I don't know. And then I never made it. So my uh, bus battery charges my bus life battery. That would be nice. Never set that up. Never set up the diesel heater. Those are things that would have been nice. <laughs> so fun. I think we have to set up some third person shots. Howdy. How's it going? Howdy. Huh. I think it's the pedals in the helmet, guys. Look at this helmet. This is a way better helmet for a mountain bike. This is a mountain bike helmet, so. Dude, this thing is a beast so far. It's performing better than I predicted. And I think most people that, um, I think most people that, uh, buy this type of bike are not going to be doing this type of stuff with it but you could tires are great too this is like with the old this is like what the old super 73s had on them Whoa! That was some Super 73 type uh, mistakes we made. Yeah, some, some of this brakes needs a little bit of adjusting, but that's to be expected. How's it going? 
I always just have so much fun going down these trails. I never really uh, keep track of my cardinal directions. Um, the cranks are huge. If I could change one thing, I would, it would be uh, not such gigantic cranks. Because who's really pedaling e-bikes, you know? Unless you're on a mountain bike trail and you're, you know, and you encounter a mountain biker. Oh guys, <laughs> Patreon news. I totally keep forgetting to talk about this. Um, uh, so my Patreon, it offers uh, ad-free vlogs early. They're early and they're ad-free. And also there's one exclusive vlog on there. It's me learning how to do a wheelie. It's like the first time I did a legit wheelie with my Suron. And then I go to the convenience store and have like a little interaction with the police. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little cute video. It's about six minutes long, but I just added another exclusive video. This is a documentary that was produced by me a long time ago. Long time ago, before, I, I was probably a year before I owned an e-bike. And it's, um, we follow, it's, oh, trail exit. Yeah, we're done. We're done. And in this vlog, we follow around a young unidentified man who uh, teaches us how to steal rental scooters. I don't think you can, you can probably steal the new ones. I don't know how to though. Anonymous guy, who knows who the guy is, the star of the video. He wanted to remain anonymous, but it's really no way of telling who he is. But. It's a cool little documentary I made for a film festival a long time ago. Is that the pedal assist? What was that? Oh, Bell. Nice, Bell. Yeah, so now there's two exclusive videos that you won't find on YouTube on my Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month. It's called Bird Brain, a documentary. It's about the brains of a bird, a bird scooter, and what you need to do to make it your own, and how to clean up the streets of LA from, from e-waste. I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog. If I can figure out how to get out of here. We got to go back to the bus and figure out how to make room for this. And then we have to go to Walmart, pick up our heater and prepare for the tundra. Might not be making any videos for a while. And if we do, it's going to be the best of. The best of Dylan 2022 vlogs. Who knows? But... Let me know, know what you guys think of the F1, the Frigo F1. I think it's totally worth $16.99. It proved itself on the trails. Some of the, oh, how do I get out of here? Do I have to hop back on the trails to get out of here? Um, some of the components are a bit uh, budget, I guess you would say. But I think it's a great beginner bike. It's really easy to use. It has the speed if you want it. I think it costs what a Super 73 should cost. So if you're in the market for a Super but you don't care about the brand name, I say get a Frigo F1. Thanks for supporting the channel.
click that like button hit subscribe if you're not already a member of blue pole culture underground and hit that notification dinger so you're notified every time i post a new vlog get after it chase your dreams peace